Hello children, I'm going to tell you the story about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now you probably thought it was just a song, but there is a story behind it. His mummy and daddy were Donner and Blitzen. And when they had the little baby reindeer, they called him Rudolph because they were so delighted and they liked the name as well. But when Rudolph began to grow, something strange happened. His nose was bright red and it began to glow. And the mummy and daddy said to each other, that is really strange, it's quite unique. Now that means that there's no one else or no other reindeer in the world has a nose like that. But the other reindeers, oh, they were not kind. They laughed and they giggled at him. And they pointed at his nose and they said, your nose is so bright that it keeps us awake in the stable at night. Well, when he went to his mummy and daddy and he said, I'm very sad because all those other reindeers, they laugh at me because my nose glows in the dark. And the mummy gave him a big hug and she said, don't you worry, Rudolph. There will come a time when they will be very, very glad to have you. They're only jealous at the moment. But you will have the chance later on to show them that you are much better than they are. And Rudolph said, but mummy and daddy, you, you're part of, of Santa's reindeer crowds who, who pull the sleigh. I would love to be able to pull Santa's sleigh. Well, the mummy said, well, you're too young and you're not big enough. You know, the sleigh is very, very heavy with all of those presents. But Rudolph went to Santa and he said, Santa, I really, really, really want to pull your sleigh. Well, Santa patted him and he said, Rudolph, you're still a very young reindeer. You know, the time will come and maybe you'll grow bigger. And he said, but the other reindeers laugh at me because of my nose. And Santa said, it's a very nice nose. No other reindeer has a nose like that. So be very proud of it. And Rudolph said, that's what my mummy said too. Be very proud of my nose. Well, then it came to Christmas. And all of the parcels were put on the sleigh for Christmas Eve. And all of the reindeers were harnessed up. The snow began to fall very heavily. And not only that, but there was a, a cold, cold fog. And whenever the, the sleigh was going forward, the reindeers couldn't see where they were going. And you know, they crashed into trees in Ballykelly Forest. And Santa said, whoa, 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 we've got to turn back. We've got to find the right way. And they said, but we can't see anything in the fog. And he said, well, we'll just have to go slowly. And then they moved around. And this time they went right along the coast. And they came to Castle Rock. And up in the top of Castle Rock was Mussenden Temple. And the sleigh banged into Mussenden Temple and nearly knocked all the presents off. And Santa said, it's no good. We have got to turn back. We can't deliver the presents in this fog. So they turned back. And the fog and the snow was getting thicker and thicker. And finally they arrived back at the North Pole. And Mrs. Claus said, Santa, what are you doing back home? He said, well, the fog and the snow is so heavy that we can't deliver the presents. And Mrs. Claus, who was a very, very wise woman, said, hold on a minute. And she went into the stable and she woke up Rudolph. And she said, Rudolph, I think you are needed tonight. I think Santa needs you. Well, Rudolph's nose began to glow and glow and it got so bright. And whenever he came out, with Mrs. Claus to the other reindeers, they couldn't believe how much they could see because Rudolph's nose was shining. And Santa said, that does it. Your nose will save the day. So Rudolph was put right in the very front, right in front of his mummy and daddy, Donner and Blitzen. And Donner and Blitzen said, we're very, very proud of you. Now lead us safely to all the houses. And Rudolph went off and he went past Limavati 
and he went past Ballykelly, and he went past Corain and Ballycastle to all the places, Articlave, McCoshquin, and they delivered presents in every place because Rudolph's nose brightened up the whole countryside and never once did they crash into anything. So when they were very tired and the sun was just beginning to come up and the fog began to disappear, the sleigh went off again to the North Pole and the jingle of the bells, the jingle of the bells, well, Kringle and all the elves heard it and they rushed out and they saw Santa's sleigh coming back with no presents whatsoever on it. And they said, hooray, all the presents were delivered. Oh, Santa, how did you do it? And Santa went up to Rudolph and he patted him on the back and he put his arm round his neck and he said, Rudolph is the hero of the day and I am going to give him a big, big rosette. And he had a beautiful big rosette, a gorgeous rosette of beautiful poinsettia flowers. They had a Christmas flower. And he put that on Rudolph's harness and everybody cheered, including all the other reindeers. And you know, they never laughed at him again. Every time they, they saw him, they patted him on the back and they said, thank you, Rudolph, for saving Christmas. And that's what he did. And that's why all those children had lovely presents that year. And we're going to sing a little song about Rudolph. And I hope that you will join in. Okay? And this is called an auto harp. And Santa Claus brought this to me one Christmas. And he said, wear my little picture around there so that everybody will know that you got the present that you wanted for Christmas. So now, children, I want you to sing along with me to sing. Mm -hmm. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names. They never let Per Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeers loved him, laughed and shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Sing it again with me. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it blows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names. They never let Per Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Have a lovely Christmas, children, and don't forget to leave out carrots for Rudolph and the other reindeers, because you can be quite sure that Rudolph is there helping to pull the sleigh. Bye-bye.